Already, my friends, we're going to integrate this Gaussian integral right here, e to the negative ax squared from 0 to infinity. And just to note, I have many, many modifications of this integral that I've posted. Uh, you can check those out. Okay, so we, this is the integral we want, and we're going to set this equal to a number. We'll set a g because sometimes this is called the gamma function, but for us it's just going to be uh, like a number. Now we're going to set up this exact same integral. Nothing's changed except for the variables. So instead of x, we're calling it y. So these are going to be the same. And if we multiply multiply these two together, we'll get g squared on the left, and then on the right, we're just multiplying our two integrals together, and now using exponent laws, we're going to make this as one base, so we add the exponents. Now, this is in terms of x and y, right? Well, we're going to change our coordinate system to polar coordinates. As x goes from 0 to infinity, y goes from 0 to infinity, we're dealing with the first quadrant. That's like having r go from 0 to infinity with this theta here from pi, zero to pi over two. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we'll set r squared equal to x squared plus y squared. And if you want, I can derive this or post it in the comments, but to convert to polar coordinates, dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. Uh, r is gonna go from zero to infinity, and then theta is gonna go from zero to pi over two. Okay, so these are we're gonna substitute this in to our integral. So this integral here now becomes this. So d theta is going to go from 0 to pi over 2, and now we have r dr right in here instead of the x, d, the x dy, so we just kind of separate the d thetas out, and instead of x squared plus y squared, we now have r squared. Okay, well, we can uh, do a u substitution, because we're going to do this integral, and u is equal to a r squared, so du dr is equal to the derivative of this, which is 2 a r, and if we substitute this into here, if we look at RDR and solve for RDR, we'll get du over dA, so nothing fancy there. And at this point, we can we can evaluate this. Uh, this is the integral of d theta is just theta, and we're going to go from pi over 2 to 0, so pi over 2 minus 0. And then the integral of this is just our friend, it's itself, uh, except there'll be a negative sign when we take the integral. And we're pulling 2a out. That just comes along for the ride because it's constant, and we're going to evaluate it from infinity to zero, essentially. And if we simplify this, this really, now, oh yeah, I put this in here. Mathematicians might not like seeing this, uh, but this is really the limit as some number goes to infinity. You don't want to plug a infinity in here, but anyways, it's this goes to zero. Uh, this is one, and therefore this whole thing simplifies to pi over 4a. Now that's g squared. The integral is g, not g squared. So to get the integral, we've got to take the square root of both sides, which is just uh, 1 over 2 because square root of 4 is 2, and then root pi over a. So that's our integral. The integral of e to the negative ax squared is equal to 1 half root pi over a. Sweet beans. Hope you enjoyed it. I got many other modifications of this integral and other integrals and other aspects of chemistry, physics, and math. Check out those if you like. Cheers. Good luck on your midterms and good luck on your final exams. <music>